quickly. Let's make the turn to Mary Cheney, uh, the vice president's daughter. She's pregnant. The vice president's office confirming that. Get a statement from Focus on the Family in part saying this. Mary Cheney's pregnancy raises the question of what's best for children. Just because it's possible to conceive a child outside of the relationship of a married mother and father doesn't mean it's best for the child. Love can't replace a mom or a dad. Gay adoption, by definition, intentionally denies children either a mother or a father. Uh, is this going to have uh, an impact on the whole debate right now over gay marriage, gay adoption, gay parenting? I, I think it will. And in that sense, I, I, I'm very happy, of course, for Ms. Cheney and Ms. Poe. Uh, but it's a lot of pressure to put on one couple and to put on one family. And I sort of regret that. But that's the nature of being the vice president's daughter, I suppose. Uh, I, I think it, it's, it blows a hole in the right-wing argument that somehow gay equality is an attack on the American family. Here's a wonderful American family committed for 15 years to each other, which is better than most of us straight people can do. And now they're going to bring a child in this world. The Bible says a child is a gift from God, and I believe that. And I think it's just a wonderful thing, and I think it'll help hopefully do away with some of the prejudice that some of our friends on the right have. Terry? Well, I agree with folks on the family. I think people have to look at this from the perspective of the child. And the fundamental question is, does a child have a God-given right to a mother and a father? And I think we all recognize when a father impregnates a woman and walks away and doesn't take care of the child, that father has done something wrong to the child because it's broken the fundamental bond of a family that the child ought to have. So when you take two people of the same sex and you artificially insert into that relationship a child, you are depriving that child of a fundamental God-given right that every person born in this world has. We'll leave it there. Uh, we have more on this uh, story, though, coming up in the next hour.